In this video, we are going to talk about numerical solutions of algebraic equations. If fx is a polynomial of degree n and if we equate this polynomial to 0, then what we get is algebraic equation. If n is degree of polynomial fx, then there will be n number of solutions of this algebraic equation. Suppose x equals a is one of the solutions of this algebraic equation, then f of a will be 0. Generally, the solutions of an algebraic equation can be found out by factorizing the polynomial fx. But if the polynomial fx cannot be factorized, then we have to find the solutions of this algebraic equations by a method known as numerical solutions of algebraic equations. There are three methods to solve the numerical solutions. The first being bisection method. Second is newton refson method. And the third is secant method. Please note that the solutions obtained by numerical methods will be approximate and near the true roots of the equations. Hello friends, you are watching YouTube channel Number Collage. This channel features easy to understand concept videos on mathematics. The first method is bisection method. In XY coordinate system, consider curve AB of polynomial function fx where fx equals 0 is the algebraic equation that we have to solve. Here let the coordinates of point A be x1, y1 and that of point B x2, y2. Now this curve fx cuts the x axis at point P whose coordinates are a comma 0. Obviously x equals a will be the solution of this algebraic equation and f of a will be equal to 0. If we draw perpendicular from a on x-axis we will get point x1 and from b on x-axis then we will get point x2. Now here we observe that the solution x equals a lies between x1 and x2, a perpendicular from point A on y-axis will be f of x1 which is y1 and that from point B will be f of x2 which is y2. Here f of x1 is negative and f of x2 is positive. Now let us see how to solve algebraic equations by bisection method. The first example is x cube minus 5x plus 1 equals 0. Here the polynomial function fx is x cube minus 5x plus 1 and it is given that the roots of this equation lie between 0 and 1. If we try to solve this equation by regular factorization method then we find that we cannot find the roots of this equation by factorization. Therefore, we have to use numerical method to solve this equation. Now here we have fx equals x cube minus 5x plus 1. We will use x equals 0 and find out f of 0. It will be 0 cube minus 5 into 0 plus 1. That will be 1. Here this 1 is positive. Next we will use x equals 1 and find out f of 1 that will be 1 cube minus 5 into 1 plus 1 1 minus 5 plus 1 that will be minus 3 which is negative f0 positive and f of 1 negative confirms that the root lies between 0 and 1 now we will find midpoint of 0 and 1. We will name the first approximate root x0 that will be 0 plus 1 upon 2 half f of x0 that is f of half will be half cube minus 5 into half plus 1 that will be 1 by 8 minus 5 by 2 plus 1 LCM of 8 2 and 1 8 8 upon 8 is 1 1 into 1 is 1 8 upon 2 is 4 
4 into minus 5 minus 20 8 upon 1 is 8 8 into 1 is 8 that will be minus 11 upon 8 equals minus 1.375 so f of half is negative and f of 0 is positive this implies the next approximate root lies between 0 and half the first approximate root x0 is half the second approximate root now lies not between 0 and 1 but between 0 and half so here we have come closer to the true root of the equation we will find the second approximate value by using 0 and half by the bisection method and the process is known as first iteration or iteration whichever way you call it we have f of 0 equals 1 which is positive and f of half which is minus 1.375 which is negative so therefore by bisection method the root of the equation lies between this 0 and half so in the first iteration let us find x1 which is this 0 plus this half upon 2 which will be 1 by 4 let us find f of 1 by 4 that will be 1 by 4 cube minus 5 into 1 by 4 plus 1 it will be 1 by 64 minus 5 by 4 plus 1 64 is the LCM so in the numerator it will be 1 minus 80 plus 64 that will be minus 15 upon 64 so we get f of 1 fourth equals minus 0 0.2344 which is negative now here f4 is positive and f of 1 fourth is negative which implies that the next approximate root lies between 0 and 1 by 4 for next approximation we will perform second iteration and find x2 which will be the mean of 0 and 1 fourth so 0 plus 1 fourth upon 2 will be 1 by 8 let us find f of 1 by 8 that will be 1 by 8 cube minus 5 into 1 by 8 plus 1 that will be 1 by 512 minus 5 by 8 plus 1 512 is the LCM so in the numerator it will be 1 minus 320 plus 512 it will be 193 upon 512 so finally f of 18 will be 0 0.376 which is positive we have calculated the second iteration x2 equals 0 plus 1 fourth upon 2 which equals 1 by 8 here we observe that f of this 0 is positive f of this 1 fourth is negative and we have just found out f of this 1 8 to be positive now since we need a change of sign that is 1 negative and 1 positive we conclude that the third approximate root lies between this 1 8 and this 1 fourth so the third iteration will be x3 equals this 1 8 plus this 1 fourth upon 2 that will be 1 plus 2 upon 8 upon 2 that is 3 upon 16 so after third iteration the approximate root x3 will be 0 0.1875 which will be closer to the true root please note that if we perform more number of iterations we will move more close to the true root now we will see how to check whether the roots of a given algebraic equation fx equals 0 lies between two given values x1 and x2 suppose we have to find out whether the roots of the algebraic equation x cube minus 2x minus 5 equals 0 lies between two values 2 and 3 so as decided first we will find out f of this 2 that will be 2 cube minus 2 into 2 
minus 5 that will be 8 minus 4 minus 5 minus 1 so we get f2 equals minus 1 but this is negative next we will find out f of this 3 that will be 3 cube minus 2 into 3 minus 5 that will be 27 minus 6 minus 5 that will be 16 so f of 3 equals 16 is positive here since fx changes sign from negative to positive the root of this equation lies between 2 and 3 this we can show by a segment with extremities 2 and 3 where f of 2 is negative and f of 3 is positive so whenever we find sign change in fx we conclude that the root lies between the two given values x1 and x2 after third iteration we have found root of the algebraic equation x3 equals 0 0.1875 now we will check how close is this root to the true value so let us substitute the value of x in the algebraic equation x cube minus 5x plus 1 equals 0 so we write 0 0.1875 whole cube minus 5 into 0 0.1875 plus 1 this works out to be 0 0.0690 now this is closer to this zero if we perform more and more number of iterations we will get the approximate root closest to the true root next algebraic equation is fx equals x raised to 4 minus x minus 10 equals 0 the roots of this equation lie between 1 and 2 let us draw a segment on x axis with extremities 1 and 2 first we will find f of 1 that will be 1 raised to 4 minus 1 minus 10 that will be minus 10 less than 0 so f1 is negative f2 will be 2 raised to 4 minus 2 minus 10 that will be 16 minus 12 4 which is positive f2 is positive the first approximate root therefore will be midpoint of 1 and 2 that is 3 by 2 or 1.5 this we show as the midpoint here 1.5 next we find f of 1.5 that will be 1.5 raised to 4 minus 1.5 minus 10 this will be minus 6.4375 which is negative and we have f of 2 4 which is positive so we draw a second section of x axis with extremities 1.5 and 2 f of 1.5 is negative f of 2 is positive which means the approximate root lies at the midpoint of 1.5 and 2 here that will be by first iteration x1 equals 1.5 plus 2 upon 2 that will be 1.75 which will be the midpoint 1.75 here next we have to find out f of 1.75 that will be 1.75 raised to 4 minus 1.75 minus 10 this works out to be minus 2.37 which is negative and we have f of 2 equals 4 which is positive since there is a change of sign we say that the root lies between the true extremities 1.75 and 2 and in the second iteration we calculate the second approximate root x2 equals 1.75 plus 2 upon 2 that will be 1.875 this will be the midpoint of 1.75 and 2 we will show it here 1.875 here f of 1.75 is negative and f of 2 is positive so the second approximation lies between 1.75 and 2 so this is x2 this is x1 and this is x0 next let us find out f of 1.875 that will be 
1.875 raised to 4 minus 1.875 minus 10 that will be 0 0.48 a positive number and earlier we have found out f of 1.75 to be equal to minus 2.37 a negative number we show this on the section of x axis with extremities 1.75 and 1.875 and the third iteration will give us x3 equals 1.75 plus 1.875 upon 2 that will be 1.8125 this we will show as the midpoint of 1.75 and 1.875 1. 8125 here f of 1.75 was negative and f of 1.875 was positive which means the next approximate root lies between 1.75 and 1.875 and it is the third approximate value x3 which we found after third iteration so the final approximate root after third iteration of this algebraic equation is x equals 1.8125 if we check how close is this root after three iterations to the true root of this algebraic equation let us find out f of 1.8125 which works out to be minus 1.010 which you will find is not much close to this zero so the solution that we find by bisection method is not much accurate and is not far closer to the true root friends if you like this video please click the like button share this video with your classmates don't forget to subscribe this channel to get more videos of this type give your comments to make these videos better you can suggest topics on which you want me to make videos See you in the next video. Until then, keep watching Number Collage. Thank you.